Kala the baboon had had an eventful pregnancy, but finally it was time to give birth. However, the vets were completely shocked by what she gave birth to and rushed against time to find a lasting solution for the sudden dilemma they were facing. Kala the baboon had been through a tumultuous journey leading up to her anticipated delivery, but now it was time for her to become a mother. The sanctuary's team of dedicated veterinarians had been monitoring her closely, knowing that her past trauma might complicate the birth process. In a secluded corner of the sanctuary's medical facility, Kala's labored breaths filled the air. Dr. Emily Hanover, a seasoned veterinarian who had formed a special bond with Kala, was right by her side, offering gentle reassurances in hushed tones. Hours seemed to stretch on as the baboon's contractions intensified, and the veterinarians worked tirelessly to support her. Her body had endured years of hardship in the wild, and these experiences had left their mark. This, combined with the emotional scars of losing her original family and therefore having no support among her peers, made the birthing process even more challenging. The vets had been through many births before, but this one was unique. The labor was taking longer than expected, and each passing minute brought a new wave of concern. Kala's body was weary, but her determination was unwavering. Finally, amidst the flurry of activity, Kala gave one final powerful push. A small black bundle emerged into the world, and the veterinarians let out a collective sigh of relief. The baby baboon was here, and it seemed healthy and full of life. Dr. Emily's tired eyes lit up with a mix of exhaustion and joy as she gently cradled the newborn in her gloved hands. Yet, just as the team began to celebrate the successful birth, a guttural scream erupted from Kala. The atmosphere shifted instantaneously. Dr. Emily's heart raced as she exchanged a bewildered glance with her colleagues. This wasn't a normal part of the birthing process. Something was wrong. Kala's distress intensified, her cries echoing through the room. And then, in a dramatic turn of events, they realized the first baby wasn't the only one to come. There was another baboon on the way. Everyone was surprised and confused. Not once had they suspected that Kala was expecting twins. Dr. Emily did her best to soothe the mother while protecting the first baby from her frenzied movements. The last thing they wanted was for Kala to inadvertently hurt one of her babies in the midst of her excruciating labor. Then, in a dramatic turn of events, a second baby emerged, but this one was unlike anything the veterinarians could have expected. When it came out, everyone screamed in shock, including Dr. Emily. Its fur was shockingly pale, a stark contrast to the usual deep shades of their kind. It wasn't just a variation in color, it was a rare and unexpected occurrence. Albino animals are a rarity in the wild, and albino primates in particular are incredibly scarce. The veterinarians were well versed in the nuances of baboon biology, but this was a surprise that defied their expectations and understanding. The room fell silent for a moment, a mixture of awe and astonishment freezing everyone in place. As the second baby baboon entered the world, its pale form illuminated by the soft light, Dr. Emily felt a rush of emotions. Confusion, surprise, concern, they all swirled within her. The sanctity of the moment was undeniable and the implications were enormous. The birth of these twin baboons marked the beginning of a journey that would challenge their understanding of not just baboon biology, but also their own mission at the sanctuary. However, little did they know that these miracle primates would also set into motion a series of events that would test their dedication to conservation, unearth hidden stories, and ultimately change the course of many lives. But at the moment, they needed to focus on Kala and the babies alone. The twins were smaller and weaker than most newborn primates of their kind, and their mother had just performed an extraordinary feat that had depleted all her energy. However, they were sure that she would bounce right back, just like she'd done so many times in the past. In fact, Kala's story was no fairy tale filled with rainbows and sunshine. Her journey to the sanctuary had been one marred by tragedy. She had survived the perils of a rapidly changing landscape and seen her original family torn apart by poachers seeking to exploit the demand for exotic pets in the illegal wildlife trade. Kala's spirit, scarred by loss and separation, had led her to a sanctuary that shared her story. 
Her kind, the baboon, faced growing endangerment due to its habitat loss, poaching, and human-wildlife conflicts. The sanctuary served as a beacon of hope for these animals on the brink. Kala's past had left her antisocial and difficult to work with, so when she was brought to the sanctuary, none of the vets on site had been able to get through to her. This was when they had called for Dr. Emil's help and told her about the peculiar guest, a challenge that the experienced vet had embraced wholeheartedly. Over time, their relationship had evolved from one of caution to a bond of deep trust. Dr. Emily's quiet patience had cracked Kala's tough exterior, revealing the vulnerable heart beneath. Together, they had forged a connection that had become instrumental in Kala's journey of healing and rehabilitation. As Dr. Emily had stood by Kala's side during the aftermath of her intense labor, she couldn't help but reflect on their journey together. This delivery had been both a physical and emotional trial for Kala, a culmination of the challenges she had faced and overcome. And now, here they were, years later, bringing a new generation of baboons into the world. Although the challenging birth was over, there was still an aftermath to consider. Amidst the quiet chaos that followed the twin baboons' birth, a sense of concern settled over the sanctuary. Kala, despite her incredible strength, was unwell and weak after the demanding birth. Her labored breathing and the exhaustion etched onto her features were stark indicators of her struggle. Dr. Emily's heart ached for her dear friend. Kala had endured so much already, and this was yet another trial to overcome. Then and there, she decided that she would devote her attention to Kala exclusively while her experienced colleagues dealt with the babies. They all needed to act in unison to protect this tiny family, and most importantly, quickly. The Baboon Sanctuary, usually a haven of hope, was now a place of heightened tension. The veterinarians worked diligently around the clock, their dedication unwavering. Kala's condition added an element of urgency to their efforts. Every heartbeat resonated with a silent plea for her recovery, a plea that was echoed in the hushed conversations among the staff. With every passing day, Dr. Emily's bond with Kala only intensified during these trying times. The hours she spent tending to her needs, administering medication and soothing her restless cries became a testament to the power of their connection. Every touch, every word exchanged was a reaffirmation that they were in this together, bound by a connection that transcended the barriers of species. Soon, Kala's health started to get better and she began showing interest towards her babies. While the first baboon, Charlie, was thriving under the attentive care of the sanctuary staff, Luna's journey was a much more delicate one. Her pale form stood out amidst the lush greenery of the enclosure, a stark reminder of her uniqueness. However, Luna's arrival was met with unexpected challenges. Unlike Charlie, she struggled to adapt to her new environment and connect with Kala. The bond between mother and albino baby wasn't as immediate as Dr. Emily had hoped. Dr. Emily observed Kala's reactions with a heavy heart, understanding that the birth of the twins had brought not only joy, but also a deep sense of fatigue. Kala was wary of the baby who had almost left her lifeless on the ground, and was also struggling to recognize Luna as hers due to the different color of their furs. As days turned into weeks, Luna's struggles continued. She found it difficult to feed and lacked the vigor that usually characterized baboon infants. The sanctuary staff worked around the clock, trying to find solutions to Luna's challenges. Dr. Emily, fueled by her commitment to both Kala and the twins, delved into extensive research about albino baboons. She learned that albino individuals were more vulnerable in the wild due to their lack of protective pigmentation, making them easier targets for predators and dead weights to their parents. Perhaps this was the reason why Kala was not connecting with her. She was too afraid of her special daughter being snatched away at any given second to allow herself to love her. Suddenly, the gravity of Luna's situation became even clearer. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Luna's cries echoed through the sanctuary. Dr. Emily rushed to her side, her heart aching at the sight of the struggling albino baby. Luna's weakness was a testament to the challenges she faced, challenges that extended beyond the confines of the sanctuary. Dr. Emily shared her findings with the sanctuary staff, sparking discussions about the implications of Luna's uniqueness. 
They knew that her survival was a test not only of their veterinary skills, but also of their dedication to preserving baboon populations in the wild. The team's resolve was unwavering, but the road ahead was uncertain. In the midst of their efforts to save Luna, Dr. Emily's bond with Kala deepened further. She spent extra time with the new mother, providing comfort and reassurance as they navigated the challenges of motherhood together. Dr. Emily's presence seemed to ease Kala's anxieties, and a newfound determination seemed to flicker in the baboon's eyes. When she was with the vet, Kala seemed to know that she and her babies were safe and let herself breathe. As Luna's struggles persisted, Dr. Emily's research unveiled stories of successful albino individuals who had overcome the odds in the wild. These stories became sources of inspiration for Luna's fight. Dr. Emily shared these tales with the sanctuary staff, igniting a renewed sense of hope and determination. The struggle to help Luna adapt and thrive was a testament to their commitment to the animals they cared for, and it marked the beginning of a chapter that would push them to their limits, challenge their understanding, and redefine their concept of family. Unfortunately for Kala's little family, Luna's condition did not improve as quickly as they hoped. Finally, Dr. Emily decided that something had to be wrong and immediately began to run more tests. What the tests revealed broke the hearts of all the vets and sanctuary workers. Luna's pale fur made her stand out, not only among her fellow baboons, but also in terms of her health. As she grew, it became apparent that her albinism was not just a visual anomaly, it brought with it a host of challenges. Her skin was incredibly sensitive to sunlight, causing painful burns even with short exposure. Dr. Emily and the team quickly realized that Luna's time outside needed to be strictly regulated to avoid harm. Of course, the young baboon couldn't understand why, all of a sudden, she was being denied time outside with her family, and the new routine brought her great suffering. Another concern arose as Luna's eyesight proved to be less than perfect. Her vision was compromised, affecting her ability to move and explore her environment with confidence. Dr. Emily collaborated with experts to find ways to enhance Luna's quality of life. They realized that they needed special enclosures with UV protection and environmental adaptations to provide the special baboon with a safe space to thrive. However, the sanctuary didn't have the financial resources to revolutionize the environment, and the caretakers were forced to protect little Luna manually from the sun rays and the other damaging factors she needed to avoid. However, Luna's unique health challenges didn't just affect her physically, they also created emotional strain. Kala, her mother, was already fragile from the difficult birth, and seeing Luna's struggles only heightened her distress. Dr. Emily found herself in the midst of a delicate balance, ensuring that both Kala and Luna received the care and attention they needed. But her dedication proved to be a double-edged sword when she realized that she was devoting too much time to the little baboon family, at the risk of neglecting the other animals in the sanctuary that needed her help and support. The sanctuary staff faced tough decisions as they weighed Luna's needs against the sanctuary's broader goals. Should they prioritize Luna's well-being and potentially limit her interactions with the other baboons to ensure her safety? Or should they encourage Luna's integration despite the challenges, fostering social bonds and enriching her life? In sanctuaries like this, nature is often left to take its course, despite how painful it might be. But in this instance, nobody seemed ready to let go just yet. As Luna's challenges became more evident, the sanctuary staff realized that her special needs required additional resources. Dr. Emily, drawing from her deep connection with Kala and Luna, crafted a comprehensive care plan that encompassed both physical and emotional well-being. With Kala as a source of inspiration, Dr. Emily's commitment to Luna's welfare grew stronger, setting the foundation for Luna's journey of recovery. Recognizing the importance of Luna's story beyond the sanctuary's walls, one of the dedicated workers, Maria, proposed a bold plan. She suggested harnessing the power of social media to raise awareness about Luna's unique situation and the broader impact of deforestation on baboons and their habitats. The team's initial hesitations gave way to hope. Perhaps, with the community's support, they could secure the resources Luna needed and further their conservation efforts. 
The Sanctuary's campaign launched with a heartfelt plea for Luna's well-being in a call to action to protect the baboon species and their habitat. Social media platforms buzzed with posts, shares, and messages of support. For some reason, everyone was more than excited to have a look of this rare and beautiful albino baby and her family. The community responded in ways the Sanctuary staff couldn't have anticipated. Donations poured in, resources were offered, and individuals from around the world joined the cause. Finally, the Sanctuary could put measures in place and use the resources they had received to ensure that Luna not only survived these hard first months of life, but also thrived well into adulthood. As Luna's days turned into weeks, her health began to show signs of improvement. Dr. Emily's meticulous care, coupled with the resources garnered from the campaign, made a tangible difference in Luna's life. Her sensitivity to sunlight was managed through innovative enclosures, and her vision challenges were eased with tailored solutions. Luna's resilience, akin to her mother's, emerged as a beacon of hope. Amidst these advancements, a heartwarming transformation was taking place within the baboon enclosure. Kala, who had initially shown hesitance and even distress towards Luna, gradually began to extend her nurturing instincts to her fragile albino baby. The protective shield that had once enveloped Kala's heart was melting away, replaced by an instinctual recognition of Luna as her own. The sanctuary staff observed with awe as Kala's interactions with Luna shifted. Instead of maintaining a cautious distance, Kala would now cradle her daughter in her arms, grooming her pale fur with gentle strokes. Luna's initial apprehension in her mother's presence began to dissipate as well. She responded to her touch with a tentative trust, recognizing the comfort and security that Kala offered. Dr. Emily marveled at this evolution, knowing that it was a testament to both Kala's resilience and Luna's inherent strength. Charlie and his sister were also becoming fast friends. Both infants seemed to be scared of each other at first, but now it seemed that they realized that they were not just siblings, but twins with an extraordinary bond. Soon, the pair was nearly joined at the hip and inseparable. And she was making other friends too. As Luna's eyesight improved and her sensitivity to sunlight became more manageable, her interactions with the other baboons also evolved. The bond between mother and daughter remained strong, but Luna's interactions with her baboon peers began to reflect her growing confidence and sense of belonging. The once cautious Luna would now engage in playful pursuits with her companions, emboldened by the support of her family. Things were really starting to look up for this family. The mom and both babies were bonding, so they could finally care for Luna as they needed to without the constant support of the humans. The community's response to the campaign exceeded all expectations as well. The sanctuary staff stood in awe of the outpouring of support, both financial and emotional. It wasn't just about Luna anymore. It was a testament to the shared belief in the sanctity of all life and the urgency to protect it. The renewed sense of purpose among the staff was palpable. The campaign's success had breathed new life into their mission. Their daily efforts were now infused with a deeper understanding of the impact they could make, not just for Luna and Kala, but for the entire baboon species and their habitat. The sanctuary had achieved more than they had imagined. Luna's story had become a catalyst for change, not only within the sanctuary's walls, but also in the hearts of those who had been touched by her tale. The community's support had led to tangible improvements in the sanctuary's facilities and resources, reaffirming the potential for positive change even in the face of adversity. What an incredible story of perseverance and good luck! What do you think of Kala and Luna's inspiring story? How would you react if one of your twins was an albino? Share your thoughts with us in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.